Hey you guys, welcome back to Winter Budgets. Today is going to be a different video because I'm going to be talking about my credit card debt. But um, before we do, y'all remember I told y'all that I'm going to be um, introducing my new book this month for the first week of um, March. So here it is. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about my debts. And um, so I guess I should tell the background. So back in 2020, when the pandemic first hit, I was going to esthetician school and I also was going to my other college. Well, esthetician school isn't really college, but I was going to college too. In the midst of that, I was paying for both schools plus paying my bills. And um, at the time, my job was cutting hours, but making us work more. So um, I didn't really have enough money to be able to pay for both schools, rent, water, everything, plus to be able to like buy groceries, buy gas. So I basically was just spending everything on my credit card. But all my credit cards, I have five credit cards. Now I'm not gonna lie, the first um, two that you're gonna see, I just recently used because I haven't used them in like a year and a half and I, I was scared that they might close my account. So I just went ahead and just bought some stuff. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all. So this is Victoria's Secret. Please do not talk about how I just like butchered that. I messed up, I know I did. Let's just get past it. So, um, Victoria's Secret, the starting balance was $231.26. I used this card to go to Bath and Body Works and I just kind of went crazy. But my minimum payments are $30 is due on the 14th every month. So I just basically really, um, already wrote out what I was doing in the midst of like for the last couple of months. So in January, um, it was, the real balance really was $226.91, but they added an extra $435, I guess for, um, I guess like, I guess that's their fee, but I made a payment of $797 because that's what I was looking at. I didn't know they were going to add that. And the ending balance ended up being $223.35. So then in February, I um, this was the starting balance and I paid $30. And now my new balance is $193.35. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this out. And then I'll show y'all my other ones. So the starting balance for this month is $193.35. 35 cents and I'm going to make a payment well I already made a payment for $15 so the new balance is I guess I probably should look to see what it would be now <laughs> so the new balance is don't judge me the new balance is 178 35 now, I don't know if they're going to charge me the $4.35 again, or if that was just like a one-time thing, but I guess we'll find out. But that is Victoria's Secrets. Um, I'm also going to write what I'm doing here, here. Well, I'm not going to write like the ending balance. I'm just going to write like how much I paid and stuff like that. Or you know what? No, I'm not. I have another thing I'm doing, so I'll show y'all that in a minute. So now we're going to move on to Home Depot. And um, Home Depot, I don't know why, what I was doing. I just, I think I got a little too happy with just spending because I haven't bought anything in forever. So um, Home Depot, Home Depot, the starting balance was $320. And the minimum payments are $3.23. It's a promotional thing going on right now. So I don't have interest added or anything. And that's just how much it is which is great. I think it's going to be lasting for 10 months, either six or 10 months. 
but that's how much I owe. So let me see. For Home Depot, the first payment I made was um okay i'm just gonna put the first payment so that was in february i made two payments in february no i didn't yes i did yeah i made two payments so on february the first i made a payment and the starting balance was of course well that's supposed to be a nine so the starting balance was three hundred and twenty nine dollars and four cents so I made a payment of nine dollars and four cents so the ending balance ended up being three hundred and twenty dollars and then I made another payment on March um, March the first was it the first? Yeah. I made another payment March the 1st. Um, honestly, I think this is the 14th and I think Victoria's Secrets is the third. But um, either way, I, I paid it. So, yeah. So the starting balance was 320 And then I made a payment of $5. So now it is 315 and that's what I recently just paid. So that's Home Depot. Um, I just love that the minimum is $3. <laughs> but um, my goal is to pay off Victoria's Secrets and Home Depot this month. But we're just going to have to see how that goes. Because it all depends on how much money I make with Grubhub and Uber Eats and my regular checks. So that is my goal to pay these two off by the end of this month. So let's move on to Chase. Ooh, it just starts getting higher. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Chase, um, it was three credit cards that I used the most in 2020 to pay for like gas and groceries and rent and water and just everything. Cause I was really struggling around that time. So, um, the balance was way higher than that, but I've been paying it down, but I don't remember what the balance was in the beginning. So we're just going to start from now. So um, now the balance is a thousand dollars. It's a thousand nine hundred forty nine dollars and thirty seven cents. My minimum payments are fifty nine dollars and it's due every month on the 28th. So um, I have not made a payment yet, but I plan on making one tomorrow because my statement starts over. Um, today is my last day of the statement and it starts over. So I'm just going to um, what's today? Today is the third. I'm going to put the fourth just because I know I'm going to pay it tomorrow. And the starting balance is $1,949.37. And I'm going to make a payment of... I honestly don't remember what I said I was going to pay. Oh, I am paying $39. So I'm going to pay $39. And the ending balance for that, it will be I'm doing everything now, so be one thousand nine hundred and ten thirty seven cents. So this one is gonna be out the way. This one I'm not even gonna try to put my payoff date. I don't even wanna like disappoint myself like that so um but for those two because they're so low i think i should be able to pay it off by the end of this month and even if home depot if i can't pay it off at the end of this month i'll pay it off the month after so um yeah that's this that's for right now um i'm gonna be paying this every week anyway um yeah so amazon it just keeps getting higher for amazon it is three thousand two hundred and thirty six dollars and thirty seven cents. My minimum payments are eighty eight dollars and it's due on the 28th of each month. So for this one, um, I will be paying tomorrow also. 
So let's just go ahead and put that in. And the starting balance is $3,236.37. And I will be paying, let's see it. I'll be paying $58. So the ending balance will be And I know for sure that I will be paying that tomorrow. I already have it in my account. It's just sitting, it's just waiting. And um, yeah, so the ending balance will be $3,178.37. Okay, and we have one more to go. And this one's probably the worst. Okay, so that was Amazon. So on PayPal, <laughs> I supposed to be a C. Just that gel pen was just jacking me up. So my starting balance is not this was not the starting balance. It was way more than this, but I paid some down. So it's now $4,152.06. My minimum used to be $131, but it went down $10. So that's a good thing. But now it's $121 and it's due on the 17th of each month. So I already paid for this one. Oops, what am I doing? I put the 31st, we're nowhere near this. The month just started. Okay, so starting balance will be $4,152.06 and I paid $61. So the new balance is going to be, hold on, I'm calculating everything. $61. So the new balance is going to be $4,064.06. Okay, so for the interest rates for all of them, they're pretty high. I think this one adds like an extra $54 or something like that every month. And the other ones, I think they add like $30 to $40, but I don't really recall. I just started changing um, how I do this anyway. So um, what I was doing is like the first and the 16th, I was just going ahead and paying or I was just waiting until like close to the end of when the pay period starts, I mean ends. And um, so what I what I decided to do is that I'm going to pay a little bit every week. And I, I don't know if that's going to help the interest, but I'm going to just see if that's what it's going to do. And if that's the case, then I'm going to keep just doing it like that. So this is just like a trial and error for me with this. But I got these, um, the debt payment trackers. I got them from the, um, Etsy, Etsy site. And this was like a dollar. So I got this and it came with these. Oops. It came with these, but, um, I don't know if I should use these because if I'm going to pay it off, I don't want to go ahead and just like, you know, so I'll probably just do like Home Depot, Chase, um, Amazon and what do you call it? But I'm not going to bother to do Victoria's Secrets if I paid off this month. So, um, yeah. I mean, I really don't need it if I'm doing this, I guess. But either way, that is my debts that um, I want to talk about. So in all, I can tell y'all in all how much um, my debt is, which I really don't want to, but I will. So my debt in all is should I do the, I'm going to just do this one. I'm going to do the starting for each one. Plus 329.04 plus 37 plus 3,236. Oops, I got to change. Plus um, 4,000, oops, 4,152, six. Oh my God, I have to start over. <laughs> okay, let's just hurry up and put these in all over again. So 
So my total is $9,898.10. Yeah, it actually was higher than that. It was actually 10,000 and some, I think it was like 10,300, but I paid off a lot. Well, not really a lot, but like I paid off some of it. So it's not as bad as it was. It's actually getting lower. So that's great. But um, hopefully I could just pay off these two and I'll just have to deal with the bigger ones. The bigger ones and all I think comes up to 7,000. So yeah. But now let's move on to actually budgeting my book. This is the new book. I did not use the first page just because I don't know. I think I'm going to put my goals there. I'm still debating. But as I said last week, I said I was going to write out everything first and then we can put in the amounts together. So I did that. So with this book, we have the months here and the, the days. So I put March the 3rd because today is March the 3rd. And um, I put in for check one Uber Eats DoorDash. I said I was gonna start putting in how much I made for each one, but I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just tell y'all. My check, I made $764, and with Uber Eats and DoorDash together, I made $811. So I did pay some of my bills. So I only was left with, um, well, altogether they came up to like $1,600, but I paid off some of my bills, so I was left with $1,214. That being said, let's go ahead and start putting in the um, amounts. If I can find the color. Is it this one? No, it wasn't this one. I don't think it was this one either. I think it's a little darker. I don't know where I put that one. Oh, this wasn't it either. I don't know. It has to be the darkest one, so I'll just go with this one. Hopefully that is the case. So, let's start putting in the amounts. So for rent, I am putting in $586. For water and lights, I'm putting in $42. For insurance, I'm putting in $38. For Xfinity, which that's the abbreviation for me. I'm putting in $36 for PayPal. Um, I'm only putting in $12 because I already paid the $61. And I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute why I'm only putting in $12. For Amazon, for Amazon I'm putting in 18. For Chase I'm putting in $15 for Home Depot I'm putting in five for Victoria's Secret I'm putting in six for subscriptions I am putting in six dollars and for school I am putting in ten dollars I didn't even know I was putting that much in but that's okay so Yes, okay, so I'll explain it now just to get out of the way. So for PayPal, Amazon, Chase, Home Depot, Victoria's Secrets, I'm going to be paying every week. So um, these are just gonna be the amounts that I'm just gonna save. And then at the end of the month, I plan on taking these five accounts and putting it into my debt snowball and adding it all together so I can pay off at least one or two of these credit cards. That way it'll be a little quicker. I could just all put it into debt snowball, but I feel like if I put it into debt snowball and say, hey, I'm gonna put in this much, I'm not gonna really put that much in. So I feel like if I break it up into smaller amounts for each week, then I will be able to save a lot more. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so let's just keep on going. So for gas, for the, um, what do I call these, expenses, that's basically just going to be in my purse for gas i'm going to put in 35 dollars for groceries i'm putting in 10 because i already went shopping 
for eating out I am putting in 20 for spending I'm putting 30 okay so let's move on to business savings and etc so for business savings I'm putting in ten dollars for equipment I'm putting in ten dollars for supplies I'm putting in five dollars for products I'm putting in ten dollars for training I'm putting in six and for marketing and promotion purposes I'm putting in six dollars okay so let's move on to sinking funds so for sinking funds for home I'm putting in twenty dollars I don't know with home I'm I'm really thinking about stopping this one just so I can um I don't know so I can put it towards other things like I think for home I should put in for moving instead I don't know we'll see I'm I'm still debating I'm thinking home for like future purposes and um stuff like that but I don't know we'll see so for Luna she's getting $35 my dog that's on the way for car I'm gonna put $12 for gifts I'm putting $5 I have a cheat sheet on this side. I think it's just sheet. I can't say sheet right without, I don't know. <laughs> Sound like I'm saying the other word. So for travel, I'm going to put $10. And for a phone, I'm putting 20 because I'm trying to pay um, off my phone. Um, I was thinking about putting a column for goals but not everything's a goal on this sheet, so we'll see. I really should do that for this side though, but whatever, we'll, we'll do that another time. For medical, I am putting $10, okay? So let's move forward to amounts on this side for sinking funds. So for self-care, we are putting $10. I think most of everything else is $10 could be furniture we're putting ten dollars for clothes i'm putting twelve dollars for debt snowball we're putting 40. oh man i forgot one i forgot to put moving okay we're gonna have to add that real quick hopefully okay yeah so moving so for moving yeah, I messed up. That was on me. That's it. So for moving, I'm putting $10. I really need to start my moving um, column because I'm, I want to move. I want to move like by the end of this year. So yeah. Okay, so let's move on to saving challenges. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do what we did last week, and I'm just going to let y'all know when I stuff. So we'll come back to that. So now, let's just go ahead and go on to... <laughs> I think this is the one. Let's hope. So let's go to balances. So what I decided to do for now on is that I'm not going to count what I did last week. I'm just going to count for this month, and then we can do the total for each um, thing at the end of the month so I can know how much I'm saving every month. I feel like that would be better than me trying to like add what I did last week and then, um, well at the end of the month I actually can count everything and then put like total right here or whatever. And yeah, I feel like that would be a little easier than me trying to like add whatever I got now. It's, that's just too much. So let's see if it's the color. Is this look yeah okay so the balance is going to be yeah, all the balances are going to be the same because i'm starting over so yeah let's just go ahead and fill that out
-hmm. So, um, because I'm doing that, I guess that means I'm not counting. I'm thinking about it now. That that means I'm not going to count any of my... I'm going to count it. I'm going to count it and I'll probably put like add or plus whatever, whatever. We'll see. Um, I don't feel the need to add those because, you know, what am I adding for? And these, I don't do this until the end of the month anyway. I need to do these. So let's just move on to do. Well, I guess it would be the same, right? But I'm not going to do it. Okay, we'll just move on. So let's go to do. That one was blue. So what's due for rent is going to be 1165 I'm, I'm adding the extra $25 when I get my dog. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get used to it now. So I won't be like a, oh my God, later, you know? So I have estimated that the water and the lights is going to be $170 a month. And that's because it went up last month and I could not afford to pay for my electric bill. So I had to put it on my credit card, which sucks, but it's okay. Um, insurance, insurance is car insurance. It is 148 for Xfinity. It is $72 for PayPal. The new price is 121 for Amazon. It is $88 and for Chase is $59. Home Depot is, I put $4, but what I was saying before is $323. So yeah, um, the for Victoria's Secrets is $30 and subscriptions, I don't even know to be honest. <laughs> That's sad, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add it up now, let me see. So iTunes, space on my phone, work. Um, I think that was it. Oh, Canva. I'm missing one. Oh, okay, that's it. So I'm going to put thirty-five dollars because it might be more than that. But that's what I'll put for now, and then. This one doesn't really have a do until I start school again. So because I don't count the rest of these, I'm just going to leave these blank. I mean, I guess I could just go ahead and just fill out the balances and what they are now, but I'm not doing that next week. So that's why I kind of don't want to bother to do it now. But um, yeah, this is it. This was really quick compared to last week. So um these are my bills and well this is my um my bills my expenses my sinking business sinking um business sinking funds and regular sinking funds and saving challenges that is it i will come back and do these when i do the stuffing and this video is a lot quicker to do because i wrote it all out this was way better y'all tell me in the comments if y'all like this better this way or do you rather me write it out on camera i feel like this way was easier for me and i was able to explain it a little better so um thank you guys for watching please subscribe like comment and stay tuned for the next video on cash stuffing for week one of march thank you and y'all have a good day well y'all stay tuned <laughs>